On the tarmac at Le Bourget Airport near Paris, the world's most influential aircraft manufacturers are showing off their latest innovations. Hundreds of thousands of visitors to the Paris Air Show can get up close and personal with the most cutting-edge designs the aviation industry has ever seen. Like the Gulfstream G650, said to be the fastest plane of its kind in the world. So the G650 is the longest range business jet. It flies 7,000 nautical miles at Mach 85 and 6,000 nautical miles at Mach 90. That enables you to fly nonstop from Paris to Los Angeles or Paris to Hong Kong at 9 tenths the speed of sound. It also boasts a 15% reduction in fuel consumption, in line with the industry's big focus on making aircraft leaner and greener. We are making new engines that are consuming much less fuel, like the Dreamliner behind me and the Airbus A350. We're also looking towards developing an electric commercial plane, something that was just unimaginable five years ago. The European Aeronautic Defence and Space Company is doing just that. The EFAN is a two-seater aircraft with an electrically thrusted multi-engine, which is designed to have battery packs in its wings. We want to start with small airplanes, get to know the architecture, really well master this, and after we will move on to the chain, you know, to get to what I call at the end the e Airbus or the e Eurocopter. The show isn't just about passenger planes. Military aircraft are also on display, along with surveillance systems, including unmanned planes like Dassault's Neuron. At a cost of around $25 million, its makers say it performs like a commercial plane, but is stealth in combat. It seems the global financial crisis hasn't taken its toll on innovation in the aviation industry.